I have for long said that if the church would choose to get involved in urban communities and really start to mobilize their membership, that we would start to see poverty move in shape in a different way. So in Southern Dallas, it is twice the landmass of what North Dallas is. And if you look, I mean, you can just look at a map and you can see the development in North Dallas versus Southern Dallas. There's a lot of habitual reasons for that. Um, some of it is just quite frankly systematic racism. Some of it is development plans that were never developed in Southern Dallas. Uh, there's a lack of infrastructure. And so there's some real inequities. And so when we talk about progress that we have to make as far as how we're gonna develop and how we're gonna strengthen the tax base in Southern Dallas, we're talking of years of systemic issues that we're now having to put in, quite frankly, that same number of years in work to now turn it back so that we can even begin to make progress. A project came up at Paul Quinn about uh, they're putting a housing development here that will have some mixed use on the first floor and we believe is over the next five to ten years that this really could become both a place where its current community members are finding additional services and amenities along with really becoming a college and university going area. There was this big piece that they were trying to fill of what should we put in the space and I had suggested what about union? You can deliver a coffee shop into any community, but union is different because it itself is a community and it's, an, it's a tool to get neighbors to collaborate with one another. There are a lot of different entities that we could have put or suggested to put into this space, but it makes sense to me that it would be a faith-based program uh, because they just have, they offer hope and they offer a totally different solution to community building than a lot of other entities may or may not offer. I believe it is the church's role to step into this type of project to really serve and mentor and love and to live alongside their neighbors. Mike is a good friend of mine. He and I served on the Mayor's Star Council together and so I asked Mike, hey will you just explore the option? Let's just go and meet with President Sorrell. Let's see it if it even makes sense. And so he got on the dart with me and we took the train and bus down to Paul Quinn. Part of why I asked Mike to take dart down to here is because that's how a lot of the folks who live here get around. And so one, we have to first appreciate, and I appreciated Mike, getting on their mode of transportation to actually get to a site that may potentially be a union. He was really genuine in just asking questions of what would it be? What would the price point be? The price point here is obviously going to be very different than what Mockingbird area would be. Um, and so that could be a potential risk for them. But he was genuine in wanting to flush out what that meant and explore both the challenges, but then also the opportunities of how union could be the catalyst to really bring this community, both Paul Quinn, both the current residents and new residents together into a common space. One of the things that I love about Union is, aside from the coffee shop, just communal space, is that there's also a number of programs that are meeting so many different needs and are focused on so many different groups of people. They're tailoring what the needs of that area are to what their programming looks like. In the same way, I am optimistic that programming here would be really specific to what the community and what the student body would ask them for as far as delivering, be it service projects or being at what ministries they put in place. I believe that they'll do the same thing here.